Hi everybody, this is step one. Begin to cultivate your community garden. In this section, in this step, we're going to talk about community garden and cultivation, uh, how, what that means, and then a uh, little bit about more details. I'm gonna give you some examples. So a community garden can be described as an online community that is creating content, supporting each other, and building a community together. Uh, Rosie Sherry talks a lot about this, and her quote I pulled from her website is, a digital garden for me is about moving towards curated resources where you, the owner, tries to surface what you think is most important. And in the first area here, we'll talk about cultivating community content curation. So the best example I have for this is the Find Calm Here community and these Calm guides because they were based on specifically member feedback. And so I didn't have any kind of courses or instructional content uh, previous to these guides. And then I created them based on feedback. And um, I got, I did a workshop. I invited people to give me, um, to give me feedback and then offered some areas where I can improve uh, if there's any missing components or uh, just, and just by having a workshop to ask all these questions, then validates and confirms that I've created content worth consuming. So those, um, those are community, what I would say co-curated, co-curated and co-created with community members. Uh, I didn't like, I didn't set this up and then um, say, here's what you, you know, here's a guide. I actually asked a bunch of questions before I created some content. I created content and then asked more questions and back and forth we went um, based on member feedback. Uh, going to the next section here, the next area of focus, growing our shared wisdom and expertise. So as community builders in the Fun Calm Here community, we all can contribute our personal community experiences inside the space um, to offer to others at different stages. So there's people in the Fun Calm Here community who have not launched their community yet. They're still getting clear on their structure. There's people in the Fun Calm Here community who have been in the Money Mastermind for quite a while and have launched a community and are you know, working on growing their community. There's people that have really successful communities that are in Fun Calm Here that are actively uh, looking for ways to have new ideas and to spark more conversation and contribution. So. Every one of you has uh, some experience and depending on your level of experience, you can help people. If you're advanced, you can help people who are in the beginning stages. If you're in the beginning, maybe you can help the advanced stage people by offering new ideas or fresh concepts. So those are just some ways to grow shared wisdom as a collaboration in a thinking of it as a garden where you're, you're growing together uh, with these shared experiences and then sprout your processes for efficiency. So looking at those onboarding processes, the um, process you have for your community content calendar, all of these different things that you're doing, your process, again, just identifying if it's the best process for you and your members uh, based on feedback that they've given you when you're doing ideal member interviews and then when you're doing um, surveys or feedback throughout the community building process. Always asking for feedback from your members. And then there's a worksheet here. And this worksheet just has a few basic questions. And it just says, what content could you co-create with your community members? Who would you ask inside your community for feedback and suggestions? What are your members? Who are your members? And what stage of transformation journey are they in? Can you put them in different buckets and then find ways to connect them? Like I just explained about, you know, new beginning community builders versus um, people that are intermediate or advanced community builders. Um, who's a rising star in your community or a super fan? Uh, these are people who could lead or host events um, based on what they know. That works for uh, the other community that I'm in. What's the process for creating content, onboarding members, and encouraging participation? What's your process at this point? Do you have a content calendar? Do you have an onboarding process? How do you um, do those things? Is it efficient for you? Is it efficient and helpful for your members? Is it working? Kind of checking in with those things. And that's it. We'll see you in the next step.